Welcome back, everyone. Going into the next hour here of Court of Swords, hour number two, and Max is itching like a motherfucker. <laughs> itching for action. So, yeah, Velimir, the, 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 dawn, the dawn has come. Uh, you've had a sleepless uh, half of the night. And at this point, like when you wake up, we see, we see Velimir and... Yeah, like your your neck and your arms are like you've got like hives, whatever that looks like on yeah. on a fire genasi. Um, yeah. And yeah, you awesome. just look like you have ash on your skin, like little bits of like <laughs> ash. What does it look yeah, like? Yeah, it's Max? like little raised ash, like yeah. little like raised. It, it, it looks kind of like a normal rash, like raised skin that's clearly irritated, but instead of you know red or whatever, it's like it's like white with a little bit of <laughs> redness to it, but it seems more like like glowing, you know, a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All right. I'm walking so, up to, to Baron. To Baron? What the fuck's going on? So I'm just like, Baron, look at me. What is happening? You said uh, something earlier about leaves. Yes. What is going on here? You see that small, tiny leaf right over there? Yes. You, if that yeah, Baron, a, Baron points at a little plant. It looks like all the other plants in the fucking jungle. Mm -hmm. That plant right there, if you touch it to your skin, it will cause you to break out into a rash. Velmer's um, thinking back. Did, did, did he hit? Did, did Velimir walk through like that? Would he have noticed? Uh, you were you were too busy being sneaky. You can't. Yeah, I don't think you remember walking through one particularly. Uh, you may have just walked through it um, when you were why lying. Did you, why did you talk to Twee about the leaves? Uh, she was burning some leaves to about mosquitoes. Um, she just needed some help. I'm just giving him a long, hard stare right now. Is there anything else? Would you like me to pray for you? <laughs> All right, Velmir just like investigates around Twee's area. Is she like awake right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, her and uh, her and her brother are playing um, cat's cradle with like a piece of string that they found <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. All right, it just addressed Twee right, right away. Okay, and you walk over to her. You gathered the leaves. Be honest with me. Did you do this? <laughs> she looks up at you and, and she laughs. She just, she just like snickers. She's like, no. Can I like, do I have any sort of perception here? <laughs> uh, you can roll insight if you want. Yeah. Fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> you have no, she just stonewalls you. All you can think about is how tired you are and how itchy everything feels. Yeah, she just looks at you. She's like, "No." <sighs> Belmir. Okay, so he has no idea if she did it or not. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you, you just can't tell at all. <laughs> do Do I see him investigating Twee? You can uh, Twee. You notice, so like you're you're getting your armor like tightened up and adjusting your straps and stuff, doing the commando thing. And yeah, you see Velomir uh, looking stern and itchy, having a conversation about something with Twee. Yeah, I'm just like, uh, Velimir, what, what are you talking about? What seems to be the problem? Anytime you have spoken to this child, it has not been good. I'm just being the... Look at my skin. This did not just happen. Did you... We did not walk through the, the, the jungle and roll around in leaves. Are you sure? This girl did it. <laughs> I, I kind of look towards Tweed. Does, what, how does she react when, when Velimir says... She's She's looking at she's looking at Velomir. When Velomir says like she did it and something about leaves, she looks at you like foreigners, right? Like how would he even know what plants are? Like obviously he's from somewhere else. You're we're from the same place. You you know jungle stuff. She kind of gives this look like I don't know, this guy. I say, Twee, if this was indeed your intention, please stop. This will actually only slow us down as we continue on. And Velomir, please don't yell at the child. She's only a child. This is fun as she likes to her. Live. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I let that hang in the air for a second. I just say, does she like being alive? I let that hang in the air for a second. I look at her. I'm like, because if you did this, I am protecting you. You don't like me. I don't like you either. I, I kind of, maybe I... Me the rest. I cannot help protect you. I, I don't like you, but I will protect you. I smirk a bit and say, Baron, what does temperance say about itching? <laughs> 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 one should reflect on how they feel before and after the itch so they have so they can reflect. Jesus fucking Christ quiet <laughs> when you know how to make this better perhaps I can come up with an ointment for you 
Ah, uh, yes, okay. anointment. See, all you have to do is ask, Villamere. Temperance will always be the guide here. So, yeah, so Baron, if you... Um, is that medicine or nature? Yeah, if you want to make a medicine check, you could you could put together a, an ointment out of some some oh. local... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Uh, it's, so no, I slept. I slept. So yeah, I slept. you slept. So you got... Yeah, I'm mean, 25. Best, very <laughs> extreme results. You got a 25 and a 6. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, it's easy. You, there's there's a, a commonly known um, uh, solution to this. Uh, you uh, you just there's a certain kind of mud, and if you mash it up with some um, some berries and some bark uh, that you can find really easily before everybody's ready to go, and just like rub it all over Velomir, uh, he'll uh, he'll be he'll be fine. He won't itch anymore, uh, and eventually he'll it'll go away. But the balm will, uh, yeah. Work out okay. Uh, unfortunately, like I wonder, you haven't ever applied it to a fire genasi. It might like bake on his skin. He might turn into like a clay pot, but he'll be he'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. It might feel a slight tingle, but this should help um, immensely with the itch. It may take in a couple hours to sink in, though. Let us get at it right away then. <laughs> okay, so Twee, uh, Twee, and and her brother both watch as Baron. Yeah, uh, no, Zafar is watching, and I'm just like. <laughs> If I were to tell you 10 years ago on the battlefield, I would end up watching a dwarf rub ointment onto a fire genasi. I probably would have Please just killed I don't myself. like this any more than you do. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so, so. We could be moving and instead we are doing this bullshit. I, I treat it like sunscreen both. being put on friends and I'm just like, Make sure you get his neck, Baron. The neck is very vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, the, kid, the kids are just giggling away while this is happening. But eventually, yes, you get you get balmed up. Uh, you have you have your ointment on. Mm. You put your you put your armor back on, and uh, yeah, you um, you're ready to go. <laughs> so the whole the whole thing takes like maybe an hour uh, at the be uh, at the beginning of the uh, of the day. And um, yeah, Twee, Twee and Semnung seem to be in a great mood. This is like the happiest any of you have seen. Do them. I still have exhaustion? Yeah, you're still, you need Fantastic. to have a, a long rest to get rid of that. Mm -hmm. Well, still what we do, we push forward. Yeah. Okay, all right. I mean, that's what Velmir's, he's ready to go. He's yeah, ready I, to I think we month. just continue going down the road. Uh, yeah. Perhaps with a keener eye for, you know, a trap like the one we just encountered. Um, mm -hmm on the, the, the day before from the serpent people, alligator people, whatever they were, rats. Fucking rats. Yeah, yeah they're like yeah. alligator rats. Yeah. Just calling them rat men, I guess. Yeah. Um, little free alligator dudes. So you, uh, you head up the road, um, and there are, like I said before, there are places where the road um, kind of comes apart and um, – you know, it's you'll you'll go stretches, uh, you know, half a mile or so, where the stones just don't exist. You know, the the jungle is cut away, but you're on you're on dirt basically. Um, and as you're heading uh, as you're heading north, I mean, you remember this road being a pretty straight shot uh, all the way uh, all the way down. But uh, you get to uh, you get to a point, I would say, kind of like mid morning, uh, early afternoon, around lunch where you start to notice that the, the terrain around here is a lot swampier than you remember uh, when you were coming down. So there's um, areas of the road that have uh, kind of like stagnant puddles, um, lots of mosquitoes uh, in the air. So as you're, you're traveling, everybody's kind of swatting at them and trying to drive them away. Um, and then, like I said, around uh, kind of early afternoon, you get to a place where the road has been uh, seemingly like washed out completely. There's a, a deep... Uh, this sort of swamp um, puddle in front of you. Uh, it's maybe, I don't know, like 40 or 50 feet uh, across from where you are. Uh, yeah, 40 feet from where you are. And um, the road is just like washed out, right? There's there's like mud and, and dirt everywhere. Uh, and Twee kind of stops at the end of, uh, edge of the road and looks down and turns back over to you, uh, Zafira, and she shakes her head and it's like, I can't swim. Bellamere just gives her a look like, fucking kidding me? Yeah, I, I look around. What is the like the the size of this area? <laughs> um, you said it was well, the, it was large, right? 
Yeah, like the road, the road itself is like 20 or 30 feet wide. And then okay. beyond that, on both sides, there's just jungle, like just jungle everywhere. Right, right, right. Um, there's a, a 40 foot span, 40 or 50 foot span of, uh, of the road that has just washed out. Yeah. Uh, and there's, you can't really tell because the water's all muddy and murky and stuff. You can't tell how deep it is, but it looks pretty deep. Um, yeah. There's, uh, you know, there's a, a evidence of flooding in the area, some logs that have fallen over, some trees that have sort of slipped into the, uh, into the water. Um, and uh, yeah, and there's just like swampy terrain everywhere. How tall are the trees in the jungle? Um, they, they vary, but the canopy is fairly high up. I'd say 20 or 30 feet. So one of those trees toppled over wouldn't fill. They wouldn't be able to cross this thing, right? Um, not just pushing one over. Um, but, uh, yeah, it would, what I'm saying is it wouldn't be able to like lay end to end on this thing. Right. Right. And these trees aren't, they're not like, um, like big, like redwoods, right. It, they tend to be smaller trunked uh, trees with lots of them. Uh, so what do we, we have, it's just a flooded area. Yeah. 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 There's a flood that's like kind of wrecked the road. Right. You, know, you can't just carry on. So is it just like a, a minor bit of water that we have to like either wade through or. Yeah. I mean, th that's your option. You could, you could yeah. walk, like try to walk through it. Yeah. it see how deep it is um or you could uh, try to go around uh, find a dry route but that would mean going through the jungle which is going to slow you up for sure i think the first thing i do is i walk over and grab just a branch that's just like a dead branch or, or some sort of stick that is a uh, of okay size and then just like dip it into the water to see if it goes down to an end yeah trying to try to judge it. how deep it is uh, you figure it's probably about, um, I think it's probably like at, at the edge. Um, the deepest you could find is about six feet. Okay. And then, uh, I turned to, turn to Baron and say, perhaps we could build a bridge and I could keep it occupied as we cross. Why don't we throw the child? <laughs> Can you throw a child 50 feet? With enough motivation. Yes. <laughs> I say I, I do not believe child. we could throw this child. I'm also I, I'm fearful of what. Tweet. I'm, I'm looking at Tweet. I'm just like, you grew up in a fishing town. You don't know how to swim. She um, she shrugs. She's like, I tried. I'm not good at it, so I quit. Is that what you do in life? You quit when things get hard. <laughs> she, she scowls at you, and. Uh, and then doesn't say anything. She just turns and, and looks at her brother. What about your brother? Can he swim? Uh, Samnong, uh, I think, says, he says, he nods and says to you, he's like, yes, not fast, but I can. Good. You levitate, girl. Boy, come with us and swims. Velomir, the issue is that we can only go up or down, not horizontally. That is not how the yeah. incantation works. Oh, this is, I'm, I'm misinterpreting that, apparently. Well, you can. Uh, it's like you know, a river going through here, like. You can you can levitate her, um, and then the target can move by pushing or pulling against a fixed object or a surface within reach. So you can like climb along a wall. You can still move laterally. You're not stuck in a in a column. I, I hmm. when you say that, I say, here's what I propose: we cut down a tree or two, we somehow tie them together in the middle, and then I levitate it across, and we have ourselves a bridge. Should be simple enough. As this long, of course, as these trees don't. As long as this wood is not super heavy. I've never messed with this before. Uh, I don't think any of us have an axe. Or do any of us have an axe? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Twee has, uh, Twee has a machete. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, you said the trees yeah. weren't that thick. They weren't redwoods. They were yeah, like you'd have, to, you'd have to. Yeah, you'd have to cut them down and like lash them together. Yeah. Um, I was just kind of laughing to himself, like looking at all of our things that cut things. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the tree, uh, my only worry is I do not know how much this tree weighs. If it weighs more than I can perhaps handle, then we might have an issue. Still, though, I don't see how it won't take more than an hour or so. Otherwise, we cross in the swamp. We risk perhaps upsetting something that is dormant there. You never know what lies in these. Perhaps there is a monster waiting at the bottom that loves to eat little children. And I kind of like yeah. smirk at Twee Twee when I say that. Perhaps yeah. there are yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Twee, Twee looks at you like she's old enough to know you're joking and, and um, Semnong looks frightened. Yeah. Uh, so we either have two options. One, we can find a way across this river or this puddle or 
we could go around. The option of going around means we have to journey into the forest. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if we want to do, do that. I do not want to do that. I'd rather try the fearless plan. All right. I'm, I just worry that the raft won't be able to hold all of my armor. It's very heavy. And yeah, I mean, Baron, looking at the water, um, wearing your armor, you won't be able to float, and it's definitely over your head, like even mm -hmm. right at the edge. Yeah, if I fall in, I don't know if I'd be able to get out. Again, another fear. Perhaps going around is the only answer. As I, <clears throat> sorry, as I say that, I, I walk over to a tree and just like pull out one of my hand axes. Does the is the wood <clears throat> malleable enough to be chopped down, or is it like a super strong wood? No, you'd be able to like cut a uh, cut some wood down if you needed to. Just to like build some sort of makeshift bridge that I could then f levitate on both sides. Or, or even levitate above the water and just use the water to kind of push us across. Like, that'd be interesting, too. If we could go one by one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it, how, how long would, judging by the size of the, the lake, Adam, how long would it take to cross that if we were to use that method? Ten minutes? Uh, if you were to, uh, which method? If, if, we, if to... we were to, like, go one by one across a, <clears throat> on, a on a makeshift platform i guess that was being Raft. levitated yeah um well let's let's work this out so you would uh you'd get a climbing you'd have a climbing speed essentially um so if you levitate the raft it can carry up to 500 pounds of stuff right uh, and the intent here would be to just like push and pull it back across the the river like ferrying people over right right um so you could go 30 feet in a uh, in turn, which would cover the, the span between the closest points. Um, and it would take two turns a person that's going on the raft. Um, so what is that, 12 seconds? Uh, no, a turn is... Uh, a turn is a minute. I was free. Yeah, it's a, I think it's a minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a minute because a, a round is so six one, seconds one and person, 10 rounds yeah, is one Yeah, the, the levitate spell would run out um, before you got everybody over there because you need well, to the, do le it levitate, five times. Levitate's 10 minutes. So yep. if, if it's one turn per, it would be like just enough, right? Wouldn't it? If we have five um, people to go across and maybe the two children can go at once, we'd have like a yeah. minute or so left. Yep. And maybe the first person that gets over there brings a rope and we tie a rope and then they help pull the people back over fast. And so maybe we cut mm -hmm. down on speed that way. Yeah, sure. I that think that's sense. the plan is we make a makeshift raft. I can support 500 pounds on it. We float it a little bit. We move. Who has the highest strength out of Velomir? And they both have 14. We move whoever wants to go first across. We have them tie a rope on there so that they can help pull the uh, the raft when the other person goes back across. And then we just kind of sh ferry everyone across. Mm -hmm. I have a rope in my inventory so I could do it. Yeah. I think we go Velomir, Baron, two kids, and then I'll go last. Okay. Um, Baron, how much uh, how much does your armor weigh? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, That's not bad. It's 55 pounds. pounds. Yeah. So you have 137 pounds of gear. I love these kind of puzzles. So you get to go to cross the river, but you got to leave the grain on one side. So um, how much? How much do you do you weigh, Baron? Do you know? Have you figured that out? We could roll randomly if you haven't. I haven't figured it out. I think it's okay. in the the handbook. The weight of and dwarves. They, and they say, "Why would I need to know how heavy my character is?" <laughs> um, yeah, there's a little there's a little section of the player's handbook. Where Pretty you can sure roll. there's a table for it. There sure is. Um, Let's see uh, here. Average about 150 pounds. Does it have a D, uh, 100 plus like D60 or something like that? Yeah, here we go. So a hill dwarf uh, base height is three three foot eight uh, plus two D4. Do you want to you want to roll your height too? Okay. Let's see how tall Baron is. Exactly. I guess we'll do this for for everybody. So um, Baron, you are yeah three foot three foot eight plus two D4 inches. So you're four feet tall. Mm -hmm. right. Smaller is better tall. here, Baron. <laughs> okay. Your base weight is 115 pounds times uh, 2d6. Plus 2d6? Times 2d6? It says times, times 2d6 for Hill Dwarves. What the fuck? Okay. 
Uh, You're over 500. Let me let me double check. So use the same the same roll of 12 multiplies it by oh and you add it to the thing. Okay. So uh 2d6. So she's one or he's 170. Is that what it, you just said? Oh, it's the roll you just made. So it's four times five. So you're 135 pounds. Okay, perfect. Great. Yeah, it's, so it's a complicated table, nice. but I, I figure out how it works. You're not you're like, he's over 500. Yeah. I'm fucking crazy. Yeah. 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 She's made out of stone. Okay, so make, make note of make note of those somewhere. Yeah, it's times your height roll. Got it. So I you're, just like you're four feet exactly. <laughs> yeah, four feet, 130. 135. Yeah. All these fights, he's just been like busting yeah. through his armor. <laughs> <laughs> he's like uh, he's like the kingpin, only like two feet shorter. Um. Okay. I mean, that's yeah. pretty that accurate to the great. picture, to be honest. Yep. Totally. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so you're 100. What do we say? 130. Yeah, so you're well within the 500 pound range for levitating the uh, the thing. Um, no problems there. I think we all are, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. But while we're while we're at it, um, yeah, just decide how uh, how tall and heavy you want to be, or you can uh, you can roll. I'm just gonna find the same table uh, if there is one for the genasi. Yeah, I don't know if there is one for the genasi. It'd be in that other book. Yeah, there's the little like free. The little free supplement. I'm just looking through it. I don't see a table for the Genesee in here. I imagine you can just use human. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just use human average. So okay. Milk I, I believe the Gena- or um, Velomir was like six foot, like 170, something like that. Is what I wanted him to be, like around there. Yeah, sure. yeah it makes I, sense. I think I was like middle of the road, like five seven, five eight, and super yeah. slender. So, but like okay. muscular. So, like five eight one. Like 160, does that make sense in terms of the... I think that makes sense. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, cool, okay, so y'all y'all are fine. Because if Baron if Baron and his heavy equipment can make it across to us, you should be fine too. Okay. Um, okay, so you, you levitate, you cast the spell. You, I guess the first well, thing Well, the you first do thing is, I do is we make the little bridge thing. Yeah, I mean, so it's not even so much a bridge; it's a platform, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. We, we this, can... is, this is the, it's the lawyering that you can do with levitate. You levitate a creature or object, and if you levitate an object, stuff sitting on top of the object also gets levitated. Right, right. Um, all right, so let me let me review the plan before you do any rolling. So you're going to make a platform out of uh, out of wood, lashed together with uh, uh, with rope. Yes. And then you're going to have someone stand on it. Velomir being the first, I think he. Okay, just put Velomir on it. You're going to levitate it just above the surface of the water. Yep. And then how are you going to get it to the other side? Uh, we don't have a rope yet. That's what you're getting over there. Is that you said there's somewhere on like the side that he could pull himself or push himself across, right? So you could either use a stick and put it in the water and like pull, push yourself across. Um, or the if you thing, had a rope that stretched between the two, you can pull along the rope. Yeah. What? What if? Is there like a stump or anything where he could, you know, like affix a rope, throw a rope across, and try to land on it? Uh, yeah, like there's, there's trees and stuff on the other side. Um, you wouldn't be able to, uh, throw like a rope around it necessarily, but. Okay. Well, that's what we could affix it to when we get over there. Yep. We just got to get over there as soon as possible. So I don't know the best way. We can make a really long stick to get over for the first time and then use the rope the second time. My one, right. My one fear with doing that is that the stick upsets whatever is in the water. If there is something in the water below him, by pushing mm-hmm. against the bottom, that's true. Um, but I don't know of any other way, unless unless we like feed you a tree, and as we're feeding you the tree, we're pushing you <laughs> along with it. <laughs> like that's the only thing I could think of. Um, there's no other way to push it across. I don't think. What's the airspeed velocity of an unladen hill dwarf? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You you need something. You can, the, the spell literally says uh, you need to push or pull. Um, if you wanted to really be like, uh, like, take a gamble, someone can make a strength check to just be like one, two, and then throw, basically throw him, like push it really hard and hope he gets all the way across. Otherwise, he'll just get to the middle and stuff. Well, the highest strength of the party is 14. So yeah, you're that's going to be team. rough. Yeah. What if, Max, what's your decks? Fuck, I'd have to make the decks. What if we ran really, 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 really fast and like jumped onto the thing and used that momentum to push us across? 
<laughs> would that yeah. be a that would be a, what an athletics dex check maybe? So the idea here would be you're running as fast as you can, jump onto it and grab it, and then have My your momentum. Athletics are off a fucking chain right now. Yeah, so. yeah. To <laughs> see if we could get it, have the yeah, to see if that would go. And then, and then, about this maybe at that point too, we we tie a piece of wood onto the edge of the uh, the raft. So if it doesn't go all the way across, they're able to like row the rest of the way. I think that might be the plan. We start a little bit off, like three or four, maybe two feet off. Okay. We get someone to have a running. Valamia starts to make a little <laughs> jet engine. <laughs> yeah. We, we get someone to have a running start to use their momentum to hit the raft, go sailing as far as possible to get to the other side. If they don't make it all the way, they have a stick they can put in the, uh, the water and push the rest of the way. Because speed okay. is really of essence here. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, you want to do it. The Next first three. one... You want to do the first one as fast as possible, and then the rest are... The, the rest, rest will have the rope, yeah. So I'm the first one, I would imagine, since I have the best... I'm, I, I'm assuming out of the party, I think I have the best uh, acrobatics and athletics. Which one would it be? Uh, it'd be athletics. Yeah, they're both four, so... Okay, so I'm doing this, yeah? <laughs> yeah, now hold on, before you do, um, is there, are there any other preparations, any, any prayers you want to say to Temperance, or...? Yes, I will... Uh bless uh I'll, I'll, say, I'll, I'll cast guidance on him in the form of a prayer <laughs> dearest dearest god please bless this ridiculous one day for this, yeah please hit the scales in our balance this so, time let me roll the 1d4 i guess Whoop. hey all right all right so temperance temperance grants you a three uh in in addition now i think to get it to get it all the way across you get this like running jump slide power slide thing across to get it all the way i think it'll take a um a dc dc 12 um so you're, you're in good shape so you're running what a, a d20 plus what max plus three plus three but you, plus have you have disadvantage you have disadvantage awesome. yeah. oh fuck um, you have disadvantage fuck and you already <laughs> have the blessing god damn it. yeah it's yeah. already happened it's happening Listen, how much it's just negative one right what is it Oh, wait, what is the disadvantage? Like, what is the penalty it's, on that? You roll, you roll 2d20, and you take the worst of the two. Oh, yeah, damn it. So you just got to roll good on both of them. Do you have inspiration left? I do not. Okay. <laughs> I don't well, either. well, well take, you might be taking a swim. <laughs> you, should, you should have, if you want to use it, you should have inspiration from that, um, the, the scene where you're setting the traps, because we learned some stuff about your character's background there. I'm using it. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. So then so it cancels just, out. It's just your first it roll. It It's just the first roll. Yep. Okay. Yeah. The whole rash situation, all that was definitely. That's, yeah, it's bullshit. I hate it. <laughs> Good luck. All right. All right. Athletics. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Two. One. Nine or better. One. Hey. Yes. All right. All right. Cool. So what, so are, what do we see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell, tell us, Velomir, what does this look like? Velomir is just like so jazzed to be able to like do it, to be doing this because he's you know he's pretty good at, at acrobatics and and such. So like does little stretches and stuff, like eyeing up the fucking water and shit. <laughs> he's looking at at, at, at Zef Zephira. What's your name, right? Zephira. Like, I always yeah. think it's wrong. But he's like, we got this. <laughs> yeah, like the sec like right as he's about to hit it to give us the maximum amount of time. That's when Levitate goes off on the raft, like right as he collides with it, basically. Mm -hmm. All right. And then, so, man, well, go ahead. Go ahead. No, he's just like pumped up. He's ready to go, like, sacks himself up. And then, right before he, he runs off, you just kind of see like a little glow. Like, he's just fucking pumped. <laughs> <laughs> Excited to be doing something, basically. Fantastic. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you, you run and you, you get your little hoverboard moment as you leap onto the, um, uh, leap onto the, uh, the, the, raft as it rises up to meet you and then you surf it across the top of the uh across the top of the water Air and you end up, yeah. yeah and you end up on the other side and uh and, and hop off there i as that happens i turn to baron i'm just like baron don't share this with him but we had a crossbow i'm just saying it would have been simpler <laughs> To shoot the crossbow with that rope, but I really wanted to see him do this. <laughs> so when you, he, when you say and, that, and I and, and I say he almost needed this because of the whole <laughs> itching thing, you know. <laughs> Twee Twee says to you after you say that, Zephyr, like I was wondering if someone was going to bring that up. I mean, we all have crossbows. She like, just holds hers up. <laughs> Twee, just keep it to yourself, please. He needed I this. Was... <laughs> and then so, I'm just like, uh... and then I turn and be like, "Hurry, we need the rope." <laughs> 
so yeah, you've, you've like unraveled the rope and now it's, it's like kind of sitting on the surface of the water. Uh, it's disturbing the, the bugs and stuff on the water. And uh, you've got, you've got your end of it uh, on one side. Um, Velomir, what do you, uh, you, you can see uh, nearby, I think just off to one side, there's a, um, it's like a stump basically there. Uh, that you can you can tie it around if you want. Yeah, Belmir goes up to it, pretty jazzed on life, like fuck yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, I surfed that shit. <laughs> okay, all so right. Proud of himself. Now he's just yeah, fashioning a rope to the nearest whatever tree. All right. Stay warm. Uh, so you you walk over there and um, let me just check something real quick here. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, can you make a perception check for me? It's a monster tree. Can you just just make a perception check while you're tying yeah, it? Yeah. While you're tying the rope. Eleven. Around? All right. So you got an eleven. I really want this fucking disadvantage shit off me. Ugh. I will roll a die for really no reason at all. Okay, good. So you notice it before you before anything goes wrong. Um, you walk over to the uh, to the to where the log is, and you notice that. Around the base of the log, there is what you think at first looks like um, like mushrooms, maybe some kind of fungal growth. Um, but you realize it's actually um, some kind of like uh, like paste or or something. It's like um, uh, like a fibrous mass that's around the base of the uh, around the base of the stump. It's got these big sort of like baseball sized um, holes in it, kind of like throughout. Um, yeah. Yeah. Can you make a, make a nature check? Okay. Hey, okay. oh shit. Yeah. So even with a 10, um, it re- you don't know exactly what it is, but it kind of reminds you of um, like a wasp's nest. Oh God. Uh, wasps build their nest up, up high. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely the same kind of like chewed up like stuff that's been made into a little like nest. And it's, it's you almost stepped on it. It's under, um, under some leaves. Velomir backs away and does not use that tree. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> sure. Yeah, you find another another uh, stump nearby uh, to to tie it around. But do you do anything? Do anything else? Well, what am I looking? At? Like it's it's just a fucking nest. That's it. Like it I looks mean, like bug ne- like a yeah, bug nest or something. Yeah, if you want, you could like kick it or something. But you don't see any bugs around. Maybe well, in the maybe in the it. mud. Maybe in the mud, you see a couple of little like two two prong kind of like footprints kind of like scattered around. How big is this thing we're talking about? Like. It's like probably like two feet tall by like four or five feet wide. Um, again, it was hidden under the, the branches. You can't really see all of it. If you pull some of the branches away, you might be able to see it better. Velomir's going to ignore it. So no. Velomir, across the, across the water, everybody else, you see Velomir staring at something in the bushes. What, what is taking him so long? Yeah, he's just standing there with a the rope in his hand staring at something. I don't know, but he needs to hurry. This, this only lasts ten minutes. He knows this. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we've got to hurry. All right. Yeah, Velomir. As he's like, all right, fuck this shit. I don't, just, I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna fuck with it. I gotta, I gotta focus on this, this task. So he's doing that. Motions for them to, you know, do the thing. Okay. So <laughs> we have we, the rope is on our side. He somehow fixes it to the. Yeah, so you want to tie it around? Then, it. Yeah, then we you just find start. A, a different. Uh, you find like a different stump or tree that you can tie it around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. There's a few more around, so you find one that's a little further away, but you you have enough rope. You tie it around there. Yeah, and then I, I think both me and Baron, I'm just like Baron, grab this, and we just start going as fast as we can to pull the rope back towards us. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, so, so here's, I guess, here's the question. Um, there's a rope now across the the thing. There's a rope across the river. There's a, it's tied around one end of a, of a log and, and sitting on the ground on the other. Uh, the raft is hovering slightly above the ground on the other side where Velomir is. Right, right. I would think that we built the raft in a way that we could somehow, you know, tie either maybe the wood goes into a notch or, or sorry, the rope goes into a notch of on the raft or something to where it's affixed to it. So the rope, and I, I hate to like detail you to death on this, but the rope's only 50 feet long to double it over, like to make a loop, to be able to pull it back. Uh, it would have to be longer than it is. Uh, we have, I have a rope as well. We have two ropes. Uh, we could have tied them together. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah that's fine. 
Yeah. yeah, so you would have done that. Yeah, it's just a little too long. So you've got basically a, a loop of 100 feet of rope, and then the, the raft is tied onto one part. So as you pull it around the tree, the raft comes back to where you were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. All right, who's next? Who's next on the raft? Baron is next. I will go okay. second. Okay, all right. Um, so Baron, you get on the raft and, uh, and head over to the edge. And um, can you make a dexterity saving throw for me, Baron, when you, when you get to the other side? Okay. To get off? Of the uh, no, I just need the need the safe. Okay, yeah, like it's a little. I, how does how does Baron respond to being like above the water like this? To being like moved around on this raft? Uh, all you hear is just tink 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 of his armor, like constantly as he's struggling. Like the rope's kind of high for him, so it's kind of doing it over his head. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's sort of he's like great sword, you know. <laughs> so he's going with all his might, silently saying a prayer to to Temperance as he's doing it. Just whispering it to himself. As uh, as as <laughs> be with me. <laughs> as Baron is doing that, I'm I'm talking to uh, Twee and saying like, now you see how Bar or Baron is doing this. You must do it exactly that way and have your brother help you. Speed is a <laughs> speed is a necessity here. Think of it as a game. If you beat Velma over there, I'll give him more food or I'll give you more food than him next camp. She's <laughs> yeah, she's grinning and like nodding and like you can see her like she's excited for her turn. Um, she doesn't look scared at all. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. and it's both her and her brother on the same thing. Okay. All right. So they get on the, they get on the raft and they start moving. Uh, they start moving and, and something is like laughing and, and she's like smiling and doing the like serious sister thing where she's just like, ah, yeah, I got it. And they're pulling them along and um, halfway across uh, as she's about like midway through um, Baron, you, uh, you hear uh, like a, a faint, um, like a buzzing sound mm -hmm. uh, coming from uh, from the bushes in front of you. Like there's just nearby. Uh, there's this like buzzing and it gets kind of louder and then it's answered by like a, a sort of chirping buzzing sound to the bushes nearby, uh, like just above uh, near the path. And then pretty soon like this, it only takes a few seconds, but there's this like cacophony of like buzzing sounds uh, just like all around you. They, they seem to be like responding to each other. What do you want to do? Uh... I, I say to uh, Velomir, what does that sound? I, I don't know. Should I light the forest on fire? <laughs> uh, we should wait until we know that they're, that it's not something that's, until we know that they're attacking or they might be friendly, we probably know. I don't know. Also, there's this. <laughs> I look at the, I have motion towards the, you know, the thing. Yeah, so when you point it out, uh, Baron, you can see there's this this lump of, of stuff. If you want to make a nature check uh, on, on seeing it, I can tell you what it is. Okay. Oh, no, just some kind of bug nest. Um, and, and it's clear to you that it is an insect nest because as soon as he points it out, uh, you see this, like, bright red um, beetle, this, like, winged beetle. It's about um, the size of a dog, probably. Like, That's worms its way out of... Beetle. Yeah, worms its way out of the hole, um, followed by a couple more. And then you notice them uh, kind of like appearing from out of the grass and other bushes around you, crawling out of their little, uh, their little nests. Um, I've got a, uh, I'll post it in, uh, I'll post it in our chat, but I've got a picture from Wikipedia that I can show you. This is what they look like, but huge. All right, I'll show it. <sighs> Gross. Yuck. This is a real thing? It's a real thing, yep. Yep. Yeah, they have them in Thailand. They're not that big, though. This is a this is obviously a much smaller version, uh, in real life. Uh, yeah, I guess if you're on an MP3, you're lucky. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is gross. gross. Yeah, imagine that big. How big? Yeah, size like of a dog, varying in size between like Chihuahua size and um, uh, I don't this know, the like one I've seen right now. Retriever, retriever size. Fuck. Um, and so these things, uh, these things start uh, crawling out of these holes. And actually, I will. Bellamir says, "Good day to you." <laughs> I'll show you on the map uh, where they are. Smells like combat. Boop, there they are. Well, it might be. They're they're all riled up because you're like standing in the middle of a bunch of their nests. Um, obviously, the yellow line is the rope. Um, and uh, yeah, so these little like bugs uh pop out and uh, start like angrily like buzzing at you and they seem to be like up like crawling towards you 
Um, some of them have their wings like flapped open and they have this sort of bright red and blue uh, sort of flickering pattern that looks a bit like fire and they're like flickering them and, um, and buzzing angrily. Does, and you notice uh, that all of them are giving off a, a dull red glow like you can see on the ground. Um, if, you, if you saw these at night, they'd be a big like ball of light. But uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's Do I know anything about these? Does Velomir know what, I'm, what he's looking at? Uh, Velomir and Baron can both make nature checks. Yeah, uh, all right, let's do that. Okay. Fucking jungle. Okay. Uh, Baron, nope. You, you, they're just, they're big, Jesus. big colorful. Yeah, neither yeah. of you recognize them. You're just like, big scary beetles. Um, I, I can't see them at all, right? Like, I'm. Uh, no, because they're all still, almost 45 they're all still mostly in the, in the bushes. Okay. Velomir, while well, simultaneously, like, like, Go <laughs> like, like get over here. <laughs> then he's also people. simultaneously just kind of going like he's very still and just walk away slowly towards the away from their nest. This is what I'm doing. Away. Okay. Do not attack unless they attack first. I understand. I am not an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so so Twee Twee has stopped. Um and uh you on on your side, um uh, Zafira, you can see Twee is like frozen, like she stops and she's staring at something in the bushes. Um, and and Somning is like talking to her, basically, who's like, "What are, what's happening? Where are we going? What's what's going on? Why have we stopped?" Um, and she she's like trembling; she won't move. Uh, as she stops, I, I just shout and say, "Twee, if you want your village to be remembered for its two children dying in a swamp because of a couple of bugs, then please, please don't continue any further." <laughs> yeah, she looks. She looks over her shoulder. And, and maybe I grab. I grab the other side of the rope, and I start trying to like push, pull it on my end, so it forces them across. Oh, okay. So, so you're you're trying to pull it so that she goes. And yeah. She, yeah. Okay. She's holding on the rope, so you don't make her go to where all God the bugs God. are. Um, let's make an opposed strength check. And she's like, No, no, I don't want to. No, no, stop. And uh, uh, yeah, and you're like, No, fuck you, kids. Let's go. You can roll it first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'll roll a. I'll roll a string check for Twee. Uh, she Come at? on, Twee. Well, you. I mean, yeah, you kind of want her to fail because then she'll go on the other side. But she also wants to like panicking. She wants to stay in place. Mm. Uh, she got a fifteen. Strong, strong little fingers. girl. She got those big ropey Bam. little girl arms. So she's holding in place. <laughs> So hold on, um, now we'll we'll see. She's trying to like hold because she's like, no, 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 I don't, I don't want to go, I don't want to go. And uh, Zafira is is pulling the rope in the other direction, right? This, like, this is not. like I'm I'm furious so much so that I'm raging. Like the wind fucking kicks up around me. I'm just like this fucking kid is causing so many problems for us. Uh, and then the only reason I'm doing that is so I get advantage on strength checks. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. No, totally. That's so, that's totally real. So right. here's the roll. I have to beat a fifteen. Okay. Fucking nope. 13. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, beaten by a kid. Yeah, so she's, she's panicking. She's got fear strength right now, okay? Yeah, she's totally yeah, got fear totally. strength. She's holding the rope. So let's let's roll initiative so that we have the, the order in which all of this stuff occurs. Um, and then we're gonna fuck her shit up. Let's see what happens. Um, so, yeah. uh, I I've can't like fire. I've cleared the order, so you can go ahead and... Uh, so you just click your token and then yeah. initiative, right? Yep. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> Look at me. I'm getting used to it. Oh, I am fucking token. I always do that. Yay. Oh, good. Even you guys, you just mentioned it. Tim, I rolled okay. one better. All right, there we go. And cool. All right, so Velomir, uh, you were first. Uh, these angry beetles. Uh, I don't know if they maybe they're moths. I'm not sure technically what they are, but anyway, uh, they are uh, they're approaching angrily. What do you want to do? Like they're gonna attack? Um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you kind of stepped in their nest or in in what they consider to be their area. So. So they're approaching. They're coming uh, at me. Yeah. yeah okay. They, they, yeah, they, they may attack you. They may not. They're gonna attack. They're fucking beetles. By the uh, way, like if we move past them right now, does that trigger? Attack of opportunity. Uh, yeah, there's there's two that are right near you, and they're all they're all riled up. Okay. Everything in this fucking jungle attacks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so I'm right here. Okay. Cool. 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 Are there more? Uh, am I seeing more come out of their nest? Um. Yeah. I mean, the ones that are on there are the ones that you the ones that you see. I don't see any more coming out of there. No, the ones that are on the board. That's it. 
Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna attack him probably with fire. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make a note real quick on here. Uh, so how long does your rage last, uh, Zafira? Uh, one minute. Okay. So how many? That's ten. Ten turns. Yeah. Or ten rounds. Yeah. Ten rounds. Okay. All right. I I will confirm real quick. Okay. All right. Yeah, Velomir. Um, these two are right next. This is like the nest right here, like around the the tree. There's several nests. Um, yeah. the one that you originally saw was on a big tree, kind of back here, and then you moved away and and put it on this one. Okay. Oh, oh! It ends early if you are knocked unconscious or you haven't attacked a hostile creature since your last turn or taken damage since. Ah, uh, okay. So it'll it'll go. <laughs> it'll end next round. Yeah. If, if I haven't engaged the enemy yet, does it still trigger his sneak attack bonus? Um. No. You. Uh. Well. No. You just have to be within five feet of it. So yeah, he can sneak attack this one down here. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Well, I can sneak attack that bitch. Boom. With a uh, yeah, yeah, you want to I mean, take I'm close enough for melee, right? So, mm-hmm. where's my character sheet? Boop. <sighs> okay, then yeah, I guess we're gonna go at him with a rapier. Okay, let's do it. Three to one fun. Hey, wait. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, it's well. combat. Never mind. It's still <clears throat> still twenty. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's still twenty because you're not you're not disadvantaged in combat. So yes, you hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Nice. Oh, yeah. And you have yeah, sneak yeah. attack on that, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so go ahead. And so you rolled a 10 plus sneak attack damage, 2D, 1D, 1D6, 2D6? It's D6. Yeah, roll another D6. D6. 13 damage. Nice. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so you, there, you, Beatles. you kill the bug. Uh, it comes towards you like, you know, it's flickery wings, like flapping, uh, and it's like deep kind of cockroach hiss coming out of it. Uh, it sort of scuttles towards you. And then what do you, uh, what do you do? How does it, how does that look when you kill it? Oh, yeah, I'm just like scowling at it. Like it's, it's coming at me a bit more and I'm just like, all right, fuck this shit. <laughs> it's just going to go straight at it. <laughs> kind of cool. like a, like a light little skip forward as he thrusts the, the rapier forward. Okay. Yeah, you you punch a hole through it, and this like like bright orange, uh, luminous goo spills out of its uh, its carapace and begins to fade on the ground. Uh, its guts are all are glowy. Well, let me make some mental note not to touch it. And now it's dead. It's very dead. Um, Baron, what do you want to do? All right. Uh, I think I should save my spells, so I'm going to go ahead and move around to over here next to this one. And just take a swing at it with my weapon. Okay. All right. Hey, seventeen. Yep. 17. Yeah. You hit it. Seven. Dude, we're okay. it's hey, fine. Yeah, Three weeks work. in, guys, and we're fucking doing actual damage. <laughs> <laughs> and Max so you, didn't you get one round in. Swing your swing your hammer down at it, and you kill it. What is what does that look like, Baron? Uh, killing the uh, the the lantern fly. I just pull that hammer as high up as I can and slam down, and some of the guts from the creature fly onto my face because I'm so low to the ground that it just splatters onto me. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's like breaking uh, it's like breaking a um, a glow stick in half and having just like orange goo kind of splash all over the place. Yeah. Uh, cool. All right. Well, enjoy uh, enjoy your Enjoy your victory, fellows, because the rest of the lantern flies descend on you. <sighs> Yay. Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't. Fuck, I didn't scroll up. Whoops. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, with, with a, a hiss, they, they jump up in the air and, like, just fly towards you and land on you. And um, they've got these big, like, uh, mandible uh, things up front, and they're just trying to, like, basically just tear bites off of you. Uh, with this fucking distance right here. So uh, they're going to uh, they're going to each attack three times, um, uh, or rather, they there's three, atta- three attacks. Attack three no, no, times. there's three attacks on. Each <laughs> I, was like, oh, I was just no. like, well, I'm going back home, guys. <laughs> no, no. We'll see you later. I, I get three attacks on each of you. Uh, so okay. At this point, fuck Whoa. the king. Sorry, right. scared me there. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Uh, so three on Velomir. <laughs> Velomir's armor class is. 13. Um, they don't have any special uh, abilities or anything, but 
uh, one, so miss, uh, two, uh, just barely miss, and three, also a miss. Okay. Nice. So they're, they're chewing on your armor, trying to like trying to bite you, and uh, they they can't yeah you know, they can't get through that uh, through that leather, uh, and then three on the jazz beetles. <laughs> so uh, miss Baron second miss, y'all are lucky. Okay. Fucking yeah, that's so, what I'm talking yes. about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so ten, seven, and thirteen. Nothing enough to get through uh, through Baron's armor. Beetles are behaving like beetles. I love it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're just swarming you and just chewing on your shit and like flapping their wings. Um, it was actually kind of nice. The buzzing. I needed a little massage too. So this is nice. <laughs> yeah. So Zephira, it is. Uh, it's your turn. Uh, um, tweet. Tweet is like huh, no, no, and doesn't want to go. Uh, I'm trying to think of like the best way to either motivate her or trick her into not holding that. As I as I'm gonna say, as me and Baron kill those fucking beetles, like, child, move! We're killing them. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I'll say. I, I'll say uh, at the beginning of my turn, I, I shout, "Twee, there is one right next to your hand. Move it quick!" <laughs> and I just like start fucking tugging. I'm, I'm gonna hold okay. action to see if she responds appropriately. And then I'm sure. Just gonna start so you can. That. You can. I think that counts as a deception. Uh, deception roll. <laughs> okay. um, uh, DC ten. Uh, yeah, and if you if you trick her, she'll just you'd let go of the rope and scream, and you'll be able to just try to like yank her across as your action. All right, here's the deception so, roll, ten or higher. Eighteen. Okay. okay. All right. So she panics. Uh, you start to you start to pull pull the rope. Uh, let's see how far she is from the from the edge. Okay. Yeah, and before it's her turn, you get the um, you get the the raft across, um, and she uh, and she she jumps off. Um, but she lands on the ground. Um, had uh, had she been further, she probably would have jumped in the water. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she's on the other side, and and on her turn, uh, she spends it um, running and screaming. So yeah. she like, grabs she grabs her brother, and they like run. Uh, let's see. Yeah, over here. Okay. Do I still no. so pass? Is my was my action tugging on the rope? Or can yeah, I you're to... actually pulling pulling the okay. rope. Okay. So we still have we still have enough time. It's six seconds every round. Yeah, Velomir, it's your turn. All right, since everyone, the, as the beetles swarm up to him after he kills the other one, Velomir switches up to a more like dual wielding stance. He grabs his dagger and his short sword. Okay. Doesn't that allow me to hit twice now? It does. You can make two attacks. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Can those be divvied up to different things? Or is yeah, that... you'll do one attack and then you can decide with your yeah. bonus action what you want to do in the other attack. Did, okay. To and uh, on the top, give you the uh, sneak attack bonus since I'm next to them. Yeah. yeah if you attack either of those. These guys? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go and fire after this guy with a short sword, I guess. Okay. Let's do this. If I can get my character sheet, what am I doing? Okay, great. Whoop. 15. Good. Yep, that's a hit. Very nice. And then damage. Okay, five piercing. Um, five is not enough to kill this one. Yeah. But it's close. Now you want to try to finish it off with your dagger? Yeah. Um, oh wait, hold on. Roll your sneak attack because it's being uh, it's oh, being attacked. It by another D six. I forgot you can do the, the up thing. Yeah. Oh no, that is not it at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, there you nice. go. Nice, another yeah. four damage. Yep, you kill that one. Now you can't sneak attack the second one, and you deal uh, less damage because you only sneak attack once per round. Right. So uh, go ahead and make your dagger attack, and it'll be less uh, less damage because you're. Um, All right, go in there to this guy. You're offhand. Yep. Okay. Uh, one, I'm doing my dagger right now. Yep. Yeah, save your second attack. Hey, oh, yeah, another no problem. Fuck yeah. <laughs> what okay. the fuck has happened in this week? We're actually good at the game. It's like we're <laughs> actually <laughs> part of the Court of Swords. And like, yeah. <laughs> the roll, dice uh, giveth and the dice no, take roll, away. So roll your roll. damage. Okay. All right. So, same thing. Not quite enough to kill it. Um, because you actually only do it two damage, right? Because you don't get your um, mm-hmm. bonus. So uh, cool. All right. So what does that look like? You 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 switch weapons. You're lashing out with your uh, your dagger and your short sword, and you you kill and injure um, the two of them. What is a what is Velomir fighting yeah, with? The beetle the beetles you know, as he sees them approaching after killing the other one. He's like, all right, fuck this. Goes like that. Grabs a short sword out and gets wields his dagger like this. Um, with a little bit of fire, like you see a little bit of glow around his eyes, just like, all right, fuck these fucking beetles. Like, I got fucked up by some rats before, <laughs> like, <laughs> trying to kill shit. He's just like, whew, like an undercut 
on the the first guy and just slicing them right through the right through the the mic. No, uh, I hit MP3. I have my mic uh, right through the face, just so it's you know, and then follows it up with a dagger on the other one. Nice, cool, yeah. So the other one, you you cut the edge of it. Uh, Very and it's, badass, like. <laughs> but what's cool is that um, Zafira, you. I mean, you can see the beetles on them and stuff, and the the like luminous goo is kind of getting thrown around in arcs. It's getting splattered on the ground. So you're seeing kind of this Jackson Pollock painting of neon gloop getting thrown around as Velmir's spinning and cutting and, and slashing at these beetles. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, Velmir's still making note not to touch any of that. <laughs> Baron, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, I see the dagger hit the beetle, the beetle, but it's still alive. So I instinctively follow up with my hammer right on the same one. Okay, excellent. Yeah, take a swing. Ooh, no such luck. So I think that this uh, time, the the beetle it recoils from the attack. So you 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 know you see Velomir slash it. You get ready to follow up, and it it staggers back, like it kind of like skitters back on its legs, and you you smash the ground where it was standing. Yeah, that was seven one for the MP3s. block away from me. <laughs> no, it's still it's still occupying the same space. All right, uh, cool. It. All right, let's see if I can let's see if I can hit you this time. So the the lantern flies uh, continue their uh, their assault. Um, so I need to make uh, two attacks on uh, Velomir uh, against AC thirteen. Here's number one. Um, I got a fourteen. Okay, so that hits you. One of the lantern flies bites you for four damage, Villamir. Fantastic. Uh, and the second one uh, misses. The second one doesn't hurt you. Good. Nice. Good. nice. Um, Remember to update Baron, the, your HP on the character sheet. Yeah, I'm That's doing that right now. Okay. Yeah, Baron, three uh, three of them attack you. So one. You hit me for four? Miss. Yeah. Two, also a miss. And three. Yeah. No, they just, I mean, they're they're Ooh. bugs. They're trying to shoot yeah. through chain mail. They're not having a good time of it. They're fucking right, they're bugs. <laughs> 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 regular ass, well, not regular bugs, but <laughs> yeah, giant regular ass bugs. So they, um, yeah, they're they're chewing away at you, trying to get your armor, hissing angrily, but to no to no effect. Zafira, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, so the raft is over here now, right on the yeah. other on their side. So yeah, how how does this work? What am I making a check for? So uh, it depends on what you want to do. I want to try to pull the thing as hard as possible all the way over to this other side so okay. i can get back to them as fast as possible so it's 60 feet and each move action you spend or whatever basically moves the raft so if you just spend all turn pulling it uh it'll get it from there to you what? and then it'll take you, it'll take you another turn to pull you and it back if i got it to the edge the, the 40 not to the tree and got a running start much like uh <laughs> velomir did could i go flying across to the other side so here's here's the thing. Each each action you spend pulls at thirty feet, and there's essentially sixty feet of rope. Yeah. So you could pull it uh, to the thirty feet point. But so I'd have to jump to the. And then you'd have to jump from where you are. You'd have to jump twenty feet. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Basically mm-hmm. twenty twenty five. I mean, feet. I have a super high dex, but that's so risky. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, we'll just pull it across all the way to me then. Okay. I just I'm curious about the jumping rules. So I think yeah, I think it's based on your strength. Uh, depending on how far you can jump. Uh, let's see, jumping. Oh, good. It's the under movement. Yeah, it's like a, a section of your movement speed. It's definitely unsafe, but we'll we'll check it for next yeah, time. Yeah, we'll check it for next if time. You, if you miss, you fall in the water. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay, yeah. so you spend your turn <laughs> like yanking it over to uh, yeah. to you. Okay. All right. Um, Twee is panicking, um, and her brother is crying because his sister seen panicking. bugs before. What the fuck? <laughs> so, man, people are scared of different stuff. Uh, Velomir. It is your turn. Yeah, let's kill more shit. All right. Uh, so this guy is the last one I was attacking, right? He's still there. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm following up on him uh, with the short sword. And um, y'all, y'all can see the like the the red squares and everything around them. Yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yep. I just want to yeah. make sure because the last time we were fighting the kobolds, it was kind of hard to see them. So I just put an aura mm-hmm. around things. Yeah. Not. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, that helps. Cool. Going okay. at him with the short sword. Yep. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> I am the best. Oh, you lunge uh, at it. MP3 your, listeners, I rolled an amazing. Yeah, not good. <laughs> Fine, your, your which weapon. is a one plus four. Oh, it was a one plus four. Yeah. yeah. If you hover over the dice, you can see it. Uh, you do Great. still have your uh, you still have your dagger attack. Yeah, I'm following up the dagger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so wait, wait, did I just roll a one? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you rolled a one plus four. This one's feisty. Okay. Yeah, this, if, this if, whenever, you, whenever you see a red uh, on a dice, yeah, that means you yeah. roll one. 
Yeah, got it, got it. 13. Okay, and your second swing, yes, that one, uh, that one hits. Fuck yeah. Okay, oh, 13 so with that dagger damage. takes three damage? Uh, it's three, but because it's your offhand, you're not hitting as hard, so you um, you just deal the d4, so you deal one damage to it. Uh, and, Fuck and yeah, I did. King, King, Bug, King Bug is still alive. So he's <laughs> taken two, two scratches. Uh, there's, there's, you know, orange goo dripping off of him, but he's not, uh, he's not dead yet. Woo. <laughs> you, you nicked him a little. Fucking shit up. <laughs> so Baron. Uh, oh, actually, you, um, you haven't used your sneak attack. Do you want to use it on your, your offhand? Yes, of course. Why wouldn't <laughs> Yeah, do it. All right. One, two, six. Oh, hi, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. So, so what is it about? So you, you, you only killed it because of your thief skills. Like a normal swing with a dagger wouldn't have done anything. Mm-hmm. What, what, is your, what does your sneak attack look like? How, did you, how do you trick the bug into getting killed? <laughs> All right. Velomir kind of just does like a little, like, like goes, Tonson's, you know, like stops for a second, like a fake out. And then has, like, has the bug focus like this. It's like flipping it around and just throws it the other way as the bug's like off kilter comes up from underneath and like you know right in again right in the head yeah cool yeah so and you undercut sort of thing like an uppercut sort of thing with the dagger slide the dagger into the bug's body and it yeah. spurts some orange goo on the ground and then slides imagine, off. imagine if you would the the winter soldier you seen that movie mm-hmm. Bucky, how he does like the knife thing that kind of thing going on oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah the knife fights in that are awesome great, cool. yeah. yeah yeah so you like flip it over slash the thing and it yeah it, it expires in two pieces on the ground so, um, Baron, you will be up next, but let's take a short break, uh, and we'll see if, uh, A, you can kill another bug, and B, if there's any fight left by the time Zafira gets there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to land and be like, good work, guys. Thanks for the, uh, the item. <laughs> good hustle, team. Good hustle. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, all right, we'll take a, uh, another our, our big break here uh, for Twitch on YouTube. We'll see you again uh, tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and we'll be right back with more Court of Swords. We'll see you then.